Oh, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first haul, Autumn Winter 2023. Kind of seems crazy that we're here and it also feels very odd that I'm in this filming setup because I've not filmed a haul like this in nearly six months, which is insane. But as I'm sure many of you already know, this time of year for me is my absolute favourite for fashion. I can't get enough of all of the jackets, the coats, the chunky knits. The boots, just everything makes me so excited for the coming season. Although right now in London, it is currently 30 degrees. I'd like to say my air conditioning is on full blast. And it does feel slightly ridiculous, the fact I'm about to show you a lot of knitwear. But let's face it, this weather is not really going to last. It's good that it's here because the summer was so bad. So I'm grateful for this warm weather. But give it a few more weeks and we will be well into autumn. So I thought this haul would be good to film now so you can kind of get prepared for the coming weather and also if you don't act early with shopping all of the good stuff sells out so today i'm sharing with you kind of like an accumulation of all of the things that i've bought over the last few weeks we have things from massimo duty h&m cos Anine Bing, and I have something from Mango as well. As always with my hauls, I will be trying everything on. I will talk to you about sizing, and I will style everything from my shoes, handbag, all the way to my jewellery. All of the jewellery I'm wearing in this video is actually from Monica Vinada, which is one of my absolute favourite go-to jewellery brands. They do such beautiful pieces that elevate any outfit. And I've said this time and time again, but I won't ever stop saying it. I feel like good jewellery can elevate even the simplest of outfits. I'm someone that personally likes to keep my outfits very neutral you'll see that there's not a lot of color on this rail but i also like to focus on just elevating basics and a way you can do that is by adding jewelry to your outfits so i'm going to give you a closer look of all of the pieces that i'm wearing today so let's start off first of all with my earrings and these are the earrings i'm actually going to be wearing throughout this video these are called the nora wrap earrings you might notice at the moment there's a trend going around and i kind of feel like bottega started it but you'll see a lot of people are really wearing exaggerated gold earrings i personally I love this look. Another pair of earrings I have from Monica Vinader are the Siren Muse Chunky Hoops and these are in the medium size. I've actually had these kind of a long time and I wear them all of the time. Then on to my choker necklace which actually matches perfectly with the first pair of earrings I showed you. These look so good worn together and this necklace is also adjustable so you can wear it at different lengths. Another necklace you're going to see me wearing is the snake wide chain necklace. They actually do this style of necklace in different lengths and they look so good worn together and stacked. Now onto my ring which you might notice matches both my necklace and my earrings. I love it so much it makes my heart happy when everything matches. And this ring is such a statement piece. It makes me feel like you don't have to wear anything else on your hand with it. And last but not least, I have on a bangle. I also have another bracelet on next to it, which is also from Monica Vinader. I'm wearing the bangle in a size small. And once again, this matches my ring, my necklace, and also my earrings as well. All of their jewelry is also made out of 100% recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold of a May. And all of their gemstones and pearls are responsibly sourced. I do also have a discount code from Monica Vinader, which I'm going to leave on screen here. I'm also going to leave everything a link down below and of course the rest of this video you're going to see how all of the jewelry pieces finish off all of these looks so without further ado let's get into the haul starting off with the outfit i'm wearing right now this cardigan i am obsessed you might notice there's going to be a running theme in this haul you're going to see a lot of gold buttons they seem to be everywhere right now but i love them especially how the gold looks against gold jewelry like it just looks so good. So this cardigan is actually from Massimo Duty. I'd like to say that their pieces, in my experience, are such amazing quality. The price point is a little bit higher than the likes of Zara, but the quality is so much better. I'm wearing this in a size small. I actually bought it in store. I usually go for things in a size medium, but when I tried the medium on, it seemed like it was a little bit too big. So this is the small size. Underneath, I have another vest, which is from And Other Stories. My jeans I recently picked up from Cos. I love these. They're in the tapered leg style. These fit, I would say, pretty much true to size. And they actually come in a variety of different colours. The great thing about cardigans, trust me, I have quite a few of them to show you, is the fact that they're a really great transitional piece. Because I feel like any type of knitwear gives that whole autumn winter feel, but they're not as hot and overpowering as a woolly jumper would be. Now for me right now, a store that is absolutely killing it is Cos. Honestly, take all of my money. I'm obsessed with everything. And this jacket is one of my favourite things 
things that I picked up just recently. I've actually worn it kind of a few times despite the hot weather as well. It looks so good worn with a white t-shirt. I have a pair of dark blue Levi jeans. You know what? You'll actually see everything being styled up just here. I then wore it with my Adidas Sambas and a chunky pair of gold hoops. A really simple, casual, daytime look. And because this jacket's cropped, it means it's not too hot. It's also got these kind of like weird air vents in the side. I don't really know what's going on there, but... I love the jacket nevertheless. Another jacket that I picked up from Cos, which once again, I've actually worn a couple of times already, is this little cropped trench coat. I own a number of different trench coats, but this is so different to anything else I have. It's almost like a little cape. And both times I've worn it out, someone has asked me where it's from, because I feel like it's really different. I've actually worn this a couple of different ways, you know, I feel like it's really versatile. I have worn it with a white t-shirt and then the black Cos jeans that I've got on right now. In the cutaway, you'll probably see me wear it with blue jeans instead and then I always feel like I stole everything with a white t-shirt like guys if you don't have a white t-shirt in your wardrobe go and buy a few of them cos do the best ones I've said this in my vlogs before but I never link them but I promise you the ones that I wear will be linked down below they are the most amazing quality the best fit I wear them in a size medium I also have the black version as well but you'll notice in these outfits so many of them will be styled with these white cos t-shirts because I'm obsessed now some of you might remember this cardigan from a few vlogs because I've definitely worn it a lot over the summer as I mentioned, the summer wasn't very hot. I mean, it's boiling hot now, but it wasn't hot in August, was it? But this I actually picked up from eBay, but it's Massimo Duty. However, the reason I'm showing you it is because Mango have a really good version of this in right now. It basically looks exactly the same. I paid a lot of money for this jacket because I just became obsessed with the fact that I wanted it. So I paid over the odds to be able to get it. But the one on Mango right now is a fraction of what I paid and it looks so good. Stripes, once again, are gonna be a really big thing this autumn winter. They were last year as well. I personally love them. Some of you might remember that last year, Massimo Duty did this cardigan, but in more of like a creamy white color. This year they bought it out in beige, yet the buttons are slightly different because they're almost like coins and they are brass rather than a yellow gold. Guys, the moment I saw this cardigan, I could not leave it in the shop. It's basically like a big fluffy sheep. It does molt a little bit, that is the only thing, but it looks so snuggly and it's getting me so excited for cooler weather. I picked this up from Massimo Duty. I'd like to say it is a little bit big. I got this in a size large only because the other sizes were sold out, but it is in stock online it's definitely on the pricier side but i always think of everything to do with cost per wear a beige crop coat you're going to wear over and over again so cost per wear is going to end up being minimal which is why i always go for beiges grays neutrals blacks because you can wear them over and over again you can mix and match them all and therefore i can justify the purchase a little bit more just because i know i'll wear them over and over again i feel like i need to change the title of this video to all of the coats jackets and cardigans I've bought over the last few weeks because guys I've literally shown you two pairs of trousers and everything else is jumpers and jackets I didn't even realize that until I started to get into this anyway the next jacket I got was actually this which I picked up from H&M I love the exaggerated gold buttons once again this looks so great worn with gold jewelry I can't wait to style this up with just a pair of really casual jeans and let's say a pair of ballet flats I personally love this style of jacket this one in particular last time I looked is actually sold out on H&M but I will link some similar ones down below because these jackets are so good to have. Now, I need to just speak about something. Why did I buy two of the same cardigan but in different colours? I do this a lot. When I like something, you know, there's actually like a TikTok that's like, when I like something, I buy it in another colour. Like, I am that person. If I like something, I'm going to buy it over and over again in as many colours as it comes in. So I picked up these cardigans from Axel Arigato. One's in chocolate brown and one's in like a beigey caramel colour. Both super easy to wear. The quality is insane. They're actually really heavy. I've got them in a size medium. They've got a very oversized fit. And then the sleeves are quite big and baggy as well. But they're just so snuggly. They look so good dressed down with like a trainer, a jean. You can also wear them with a leather trouser, like a t-shirt underneath. And if you can't already tell, I clearly love a cardigan, don't I? I did mention on my Instagram stories that Abercrombie and Finch actually have a really good, almost like a dupe version of this. It's a fraction of the price. I did actually see it in the London store, so I've seen it in real life as well. It looks so good. I will link that down below because these are kind of pricey. So if you're looking for a very similar look, but for a little bit less money, 
I'll give you that option as well. The jean I have been wearing a lot of, but it's actually been sold out for kind of a long time, is this. This is from H&M. It's called the 90s Baggy Low Rise Fit, but they just restocked. And it's such a great kind of baggy jean. I would advise you to go with your regular size. They do fit a little bit on the bigger size, but they're meant to be big. I then also picked up this gray jacket from Cos, which I adore. These actually look so good worn together. And just another really easy everyday outfit. I personally love a crop jacket. I mean, if you haven't already told by this haul, I'm actually feeling slightly embarrassed about how many jackets that are cropped beige and i don't even i do you know what i'm not actually gonna be able to keep all of this stuff am i when i've laid it all out and i've tried it all on for you i'm realizing i actually have a problem here like how many beige jackets does one person need i mean this is gray so this is being kept but like seriously but then i feel like they all serve a different purpose and they're all nice in their own way you know but this is actually kind of scary the fact we're not even properly into autumn yet and i feel like i've gone this this nuts well every year without fail i wear a trench coat this is one that i actually picked up from is it called anina bing i sometimes want to say anine bing i can never remember someone always corrects me every single time i say this brand i think it's anina bing and i should really know how to say it properly because i love this brand the quality is so good but something i have learned although i forgot about when i placed this order is the fact that their pieces in my opinion do size quite big i picked this coat up in a size medium and you'll see from the cutaway it is very oversized. I'm actually going to send it back and try and get it in a size small. The last thing I have on this rail and the last thing I'm going to show you is this. This is from Cos. It's so soft. It's also 100% cashmere. Something Cos do is use really beautiful fabrics. And for me, pieces like this are an investment in my wardrobe because I won't just wear it this year, but I'll wear it for years and years to come. Although I do have a question for you guys. This hasn't gone bobbly, but some of my pieces from last year, not from Cos, but... This, this cardigan that I have has gone so bobbly. So if any of you have a good debobbler, send me the link on Instagram, please, because I really need a debobbler in my life. But that was the last piece on my rail. And I hope so much you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, I do kind of apologize about the amount of jackets, cardigans, and jumpers I've just shown you, but, I mean, there's no but, I just clearly have an issue. But as I've already mentioned, everything featured will be linked down below. So if you've seen anything you liked, which hopefully you have, you'll easily be able to go and shop it all from there as always guys thank you so so much for watching and i will hopefully see you in my next video take care bye bye